2001 on an X Reg Rover 45 1.6 litre petrol engine. Body weight wise, we'll start from the bonnet. A little bit of a stone chip and dent here, and we've got some scratching in the paintwork on the bonnet there. See that the camera's picking that up. Once a bit of a polish that. All those years have been washed with a sponge, sort of take its toll. Come down the bonnet onto the left hand side, no cracks in the light lenses. The bumper corner is scuff free. Bit of a crack on the number plate there as we come along the front edge. A few little stone chips here and there. Left, right hand side again, no scuffs on the bumper corner. And the lights are all crack free as well. The grill and surround all nice and shiny. As we come down the driver's front wheel arch, we'll have a little look around this arch here. All nice and straight, there's no rust coming through there. Again, some surface scratches in the paintwork on the arch itself. <clears throat> Down the lower half there. Again, nice and tidy, nice and straight. A few little marks down here on this rear arch, excuse me there. <clears throat> Driver's door itself, again, all nice and straight. Once a polish on the old Rover here. Driver's rear door again, nice and straight down both sides. A few little scratches in the paintwork, like I mentioned. We'll drop them on the roof to see. The windscreen's been sealed in, and both sides, these channel rails have got some sealer in them. The roof itself is straight, apart from a few bird poo marks, and again, some scratching in the paintwork. We come down the rear quarter, got a little bit of lack of peel and some scratches again. Onto this rear arch here, which is nice and tidy, not rotted out. Got a little bit of corrosion starting at the back here on the right hand side of the very back where it meets the bumper. But apart from that, a little bit at the bottom there. Not rotten like they normally are. Down onto the rear bumper. Bit of a scuff on the rear bumper cone on the right hand side, and we've got some lacquer peel. The paint works flat across this section here. Left hand side is scuff free. Again, the light lenses are all nice and clear. You see the bumper sort of sitting out of line here on the corner. The boot lid itself is all all right, apart from some scratching in the paint. We've got a little bit flat on the boot lid there. The rest of the, of the deck lid, the back, back section there is all nice and straight. The chrome around the number plate is all good, as is the chrome on the bumper strip. No major scratching around the petal cap. And now as we come on to the left hand rear arch, again, tiny little bit down the bottom, but nice and straight for these old rovers. No signs of major corrosion. We've got some sort of mark here where this rubber seal has been fitted and a little bit of corrosion, but nothing major at all there. Down the passenger rear door again, nice and straight. Once a good polish, this one. The bottoms of the doors are good. As we come round onto the passenger front door, Again, we've got a little bit of swing going on around the handle there. It's not pain free. I might even be glue that, I think. Scuff on the wing mirror cap there. And a little bit of tape holding this trim on here. Onto the front wheel arch. We've got a little bit of a scuff here, but no corrosion on the bumper on, on the arch itself. And a little bit of a ding here on the back door if we can try and pick that up in the camera. And again, you'll just notice on the right light there's a few little dings and dents on the bonnet as well. As we go on the interior now, it's a little bit of love this one, but hard to come by that aren't rotten. You'll see the cloth has just unglued itself away from the door card there on the driver's door. The seat itself is in nice condition, no cigarette burns or rips or tears. A little bit of a snag on the piping here. That's the bottom corner on the right hand side of the driver's bolster. Rover mats, rubber mats with grey carpets underneath. The dashboard is all crack free. The wood's all good as you come down the centre console, all nice and started, no aftermarket head unit. The wood's all all right in there. Dials, there's no cracking in the plastic on the dials. The steering wheel's got a little bit of wear and the headliner is sagging down a little bit. Into driver's rear. Yeah, the door card's all right, still sagging a little bit on the cloth. The rear seats are all clean and tidy, no rips or tears, and the rear seats doesn't smell wet or any dampness in there. Go into the boot now, which I'll get the key for. We'll have a look in the boot. 
Oh, Jim's gonna just pop the release instead for us. There we go. Into the boot now, all nice and clean and tidy in the boot. Into the boot floor, have a good look at that in there. All nice and tidy and presentable in the boot floor. This is the passenger rear again. The door card must be a rover thing. This where the cloths come away from the from the door card itself. But again, the seats are all clean and tidy. Even inside the door checks there. All nice and tidy in there. Into passenger front again. The door card same. It's not ripped or teared. It's just sort of come away like sagging in the middle there. Passenger seat again, nice and clean and tidy. No burns, no marks, no stains on the seat itself. All nice and straight in there. Cheap little car, this one. Holds a little bit of love. It has got a little bit of a misfire load down the revs, this one. Um, I haven't driven it. Well, I've driven it around the yard, it drives, but it has got a load down misfire, which you're going to hear here when James started up for us. You'll hear the load down misfire. But again, looks all all right in there. I'm just waiting on James. He's in go slow mode today. Take more to move. <laughs> Here we go. Like I said, it has got a little bit of a misfire. This one, but a little bit. It's got a misfire. Good. You can't hear the misfire there. I'm not too sure what it was, what that is. I was told that the current vendor of the car drove through a rather big puddle and the car started to misfire. Uh, and he's driven it since then for a little bit. So there you have it. 2001 Rover 45